back with another video. So today I'm gonna go ahead and film just a video compiling all of the shops I recommend um, for service dog gear and why and just like one video. Um, so this is something I get messages about a lot and I was like, okay, you know, why not just film a video so I can just kind of send everybody to one place and it makes things a lot easier for me and for other people because I can just be like, here's all the shops, here's why I recommend them, and if there's one that I happen to pull my support from um, after I upload this video, then I'll keep the description box updated with reasoning why I don't support said shop anymore um, and just a don't shop here. Um, so that's just what I have and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video. So starting off with small stuff, so this is going to be leash wraps, patches, um, patch tabs, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't have like um, all of the items that I have from each shop here. I just have like one item to use as like, you know, visual, whatever. Um, so first off is So What Co. Um, anybody that's been on my channel and watched your videos knows I rave about So What all the time. Um, so I just have a patch tab from them here. I recommend them for patch tabs and patches. Um, their leash traps are good, but I definitely prefer getting leash traps from Patience and Love or Lucky Dog Gear, which are both going to be mentioned later on. Um, but for just patches and patch tabs, they're absolutely amazing and one of my favorite companies for them and one of the only places I go to for said items. Um, so as mentioned is Lucky Dog Gear, um, so this is just one of my leash wraps from them. Um, so I recommend them for any vinyl necessities. Um, this is leash wraps, patch tabs, um, I think that's all they make. But if you want vinyl, then go to Lucky Dog Gear. Um, I will say one of the things is it's a bit hard to get in for an order with them anymore, but if you want to get like try and get their pre-made sale that kind of stuff i definitely suggest attempting or trying to get secondhand gear because as far as like vinyl stuff goes theirs is the best quality in my opinion and you can't go wrong with going with jay um so from there i have patience and love so patience and love i actually recommend for all of your necessities um, so this is leash wraps, this is patches, this is her vest, um, just if you want something embroidered, she's a good place to go to all around. Um, I haven't tried any of her vinyl stuff and I don't think I ever will because I usually just stick to getting vinyl for leash wraps and patch tabs and I will always go to Lucky Dog Gear for that kind of stuff. Um, but as far as like canvas stuff, I've never gone wrong with her. Um, I actually just recently got an order and she messed up one of my leash traps. Um, just coloring was just slightly wrong and I, looking back at the order, I can see how it was missed. Um, and she replaced it and all is well. It's actually coming in the mail and that will be in like an unboxing later on. Um, but yeah, no, I'm like extremely happy with Patience Love, always have been with Sam. Um, so yeah. Anyways, next I'm going into just everyday dog gear kind of thing, and my go-to is rough wear. So I just have our new raincoat here. Um, I haven't even used it yet, but I've used the boots all the time on Athena, and I've tried this on her, all that. Um, and honestly, I feel like you can't go wrong with rough wear. Their quality is amazing. Um, whenever you ask handlers, most will rave about them. On top of that, they give a discount for service dog handlers which I think is great um, because everybody wants to save money uh, and just overall like as I said quality is good you know it's gonna last at least your dog's working career if not longer um, you know I really feel like if I have a dog that's the same size as Athena then after she retires they'll be able to wear this and it'll last like it's just it's great quality and comparing this kind of stuff to other gear that I have it's definitely worth the money so yeah just rough wear for any of your outerwear dog needs so that's boots raincoats coats jackets um cooling vests um all that kind of stuff I will say the one thing with cooling vests that I've heard over and over again is rough wears does seem to hold water so if you're doing like leather gear or something then you can expect your um gear that you have over top to be a little bit wet. I actually went with an Amazon vest, uh, cooling vest that I have in my gear videos, um, 
just because it was about the same price after Pro Purchase, but I needed it within like a couple of days and I knew that it was a good cooling vest, so I just went ahead and got Athena one of those. Um, so yeah, anyways, next is pool straps, like biothane gear, that kind of stuff. So if you have the money, I highly suggest going to Atomic Hound. I just have one of my pool straps from her. Um, I have a couple of pool straps and a collar. I think Harry's actually has his on. So this is our collar from Atomic Hound. It's just, it's a really good quality and it's been through the works already because Aries likes to go exploring and you can see like the buckle gets scratched up but it's not messing. I don't know if you guys can actually see the scratches but the buckle's been scratched up but it hasn't affected anything with the usage like there's no unclipping there's nothing going on there um and then for her pull straps they're just they're amazing quality and definitely worth the price in my eyes um I haven't tried any of her bandanas but I do plan on doing some more purchasing with her and I know that just Megan is an amazing person to work with um she's really sweet her customer service is great um, for a more affordable option for biothane, I recommend Sun Paco. Um, they're just on Etsy. I'll link them, I think, linked in the description box. I'll try to at least. Uh, their quality is good and their pricing is even better. Uh, they're definitely not at the same level as Atomic Hound. I mean, there is a price difference. And I mean, even like just how they have it attached, like Atomic Hound, Megan uses. Um, screws and then for Sun Paco they just use regular rivets. This is just our guide leash from them and it's great. I mean I love it. It holds up and if you're not doing any like strenuous pulling or anything like that there shouldn't be any worry about rivets popping out. Um, I did actually have a mishap which I will share because I'm going to be doing a review from Sun Paco and it wasn't anything on the shop's fault. It was all on USPS and her customer service after the fact has been great. Um, I'm really happy to work with her and I know that I'll continue to go back to her. Um, so now I'm gonna be getting into like harnesses, vests, that kind of stuff. Um, for vests, I will always recommend either Patience and Love, So What Co or One Tigress for vests, harnesses, that kind of stuff, just quality. Um, I've already recommended Patience and Love and So What Co, so I'm not going to be adding them into this group because they're there and I've said the shop is great, go to them, that kind of thing. Um, so this is harnesses specifically. Um, so I have my Savvy Shepherd Co, which everybody's heard me rave about once again. Um, so this is just our pink one it's got embroidery and then it's got like the pastel waves fleece i do have another one coming from them that i'm extremely happy to get and can't wait um so just quality wise it's amazing customer service is great as i said i highly recommend um i also recommend them for like fleece pull straps that kind of stuff if you want them i have one just don't have it attached to the harness right now it's like in my little gear storage thing um so yeah, anyways, they're great. Okay, um, next for fleece harnesses, this is more of a budget option, um, and that's Unico Cane Gear. So I actually am friends with the shop owner, so that's one thing, but it's not a biased review. If her stuff wasn't good, I wouldn't be recommending her, and I definitely wouldn't go back to her. It's, you know, just her stuff's good quality, especially for the price. So her harnesses start at $25, which I think is really good, and then they go up from there if you want pull strap, if you do the embroidery, etc. you know, and they're good quality. Like, the fleece is, you can tell, it's really nice, it's thick, it's sturdy, like, there is no popping this um, on any of the things, you know, and I mean, I'm yanking, and I can't pop it. Um, the couple of complaints people have had that I know of are that she doesn't use welded D-rings, which I do think should be upgraded if anybody's doing any sort of mobility with her harnesses, but also she doesn't advertise as mobility harnesses. So that's just one thing. Um, but other than that, great quality, great customer service, and as I said, amazing harnesses for a budget. Um, I highly suggest them if you're planning on getting a starter harness for your dog. Um, 
with Athena still growing, I gave her a minimum girth. And as you can see, it is literal minimum as in it goes all the way up to the shoulders. And then I have a ton of girth room. This fits Athena and then it also fits Aries. Um, and Athena has like a 25 ish inch girth right now. And Aries has like a 31.5. So that kind of tells you, and then there's still room. Um, so yeah, really good, really great. Absolutely love them. Um, so next I'm going to be doing just leather stuff. Um, I will be adding prefaces for one of the companies and that's Yep Collars. Um, I do like their harnesses as a lightweight option for gear. Um, Athena is very aversive to heavy gear. So I don't know, like if you look at the majority of our gear, they're pretty, it's pretty lightweight. Um, and with that, it's really good for having a lightweight option. However, if you look at a lot of the reviews recently, you'll notice that hand-dyed items have had some fading problems, and there's been a couple of people on the customer service team that haven't been the best. Um, I have seen that they are replacing customer service, and they're bringing somebody else in who, from talking to her and just, you know, getting to know her, she's been great. I mean, she seems like she's really trying to get you up back onto where they were as a company in the beginning which is really good in my eyes um but it's definitely just you know in my opinion i'd stick to their sealed leather versus the hand dyed items if you need the lighter option and i'd stick to just least like less customizations um just yeah that's kind of where i've realized and where i'm gonna stick to um as far as items go but outside of that, I really think that their quality is really nice. Um, this is just one of my harnesses from them, and it's really good. Um, I really like it for Athena. Um, but going from there, I recommend Bridgeport Canine Gear. If your dog has no aversion to gear, then this is going to be your best option, in my opinion. Um, I will say I have heard from a few people that they do have the option and offer a way to set up a lighter weight harness. Um, I haven't messaged them and asked or anything, but it's something that I've seen people bring up. They've also just recently added padded leather as an option. So if you're in a place like me where it's really, really hot, then padded leather is way better than this thick fleece, like sheepskin um, that they have. However, I do love the padding. Um, yeah and then their customer service is great i actually just recently put in an order with them for just some toys and like a new collar for aries that kind of stuff and they ran out of the color i wanted so they messaged me and it was hey you know can we fix this what color do you want you know do you want to just cancel it like all that kind of stuff and overall just their customer service is absolutely amazing and i love the company so um, from there, I do recommend One Tigress. I forgot to grab my cake that I was gonna show, but One Tigress is always a company I recommend. Um, if you wanna see exactly what I have from them, then I suggest checking out my gear haul that I just uploaded. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope this helps anybody looking to get custom gear um, for their service dog. And if you're looking for more like affordable options than this stuff, um, then I suggest checking out my affordable service dog gear video. Um, so yeah, that's all I have and I hope you guys enjoyed. So bye.